<laughs> Good. Okay. Well, tell me. Okay, um, NBC. Last night, Conan O'Brien had a little sketch on about saying that these things that uh, he got from your Twitter account. Did you post those things on Twitter? No. I, I've never had a Twitter account. You know, I don't know Twitter. I really don't know what it is. I don't have MySpace, Facebook, and yeah, none of that stuff with me. Why would anybody go on and, and pose as you? Well, somebody, you know, somebody out there, if they see somebody who they perceive as, is a celebrity, the next thing you know, you know, they're imitating them, they're impersonating them. And the thing that we don't like is that the, a simple phone call from NBC could have eliminated this problem, okay? A number of media outlets have called to ask first, is this Levi Johnston's Twitter page? And we've told them no, and that was the end of it. Nothing was printed. NBC, whoever produced the show, couldn't even pick up a, a phone and call someone first from the Levi Johnston camp to be sure that, in fact, this account belongs to him. He has no Twitter account. He has no Facebook account. He has no My MySpace account for this very purpose, so that nobody can misquote him or put something on the page that he has to stand for or answer to later. How does it make you feel that these lies are being posted and it's supposedly from, I mean, it's supposed to be from you? I don't know. I'm, I'm sure a lot of celebrities, you know, they deal with the same thing. I mean, it happens, but, you know, I just want to say it's not me. How has, I mean, obviously a year and a half, you know, this wouldn't have been, you wouldn't have to have to deal about with this. I mean, how has your life changed in that year and a half? I don't know, just a lot of cameras, you know, the fame starting to come and, you know, I got used to it. it it's a good one. I like it. What are the, the next things you have on your plate? Well, right now we're, we're working on some things, but we don't want to go into those things right now. That's fine. Um, let's see, I, I saw a couple national interviews where you kind of alluded to having dirt on, on Sarah Palin. Um, can you share that with us at all? Okay. You know, I thought you were up here for oh. the Twitter thing. Yes. And so we were just being courteous. We okay. talked to Nick, said, hey, Nick, here's an opportunity to, to we've got Levi here. You can talk to him. You, you know, he said, yeah, that's what you want to do, okay? Now, I understand you as a reporter. <laughs> obviously, reporter's going to push. Okay. Okay, I apologize. That's okay. Is there anything else that, I mean, obviously, you're going to be a celebrity for a while, probably. Is there something you want people to keep in mind as these kind of things? Well, the thing out? that we've done, the thing that we've done, not to cut you off, but mm -hmm. just in an expediency of time, we've emailed Twitter. Now, we've all we've gotten back so far is their standard computer response. But I assume that they will get on this and make some corrections. It's their medium that's being used. They're supposed to be in control of it. That's, that's the rules. And so we're going to see what happens with that. And then we'll also determine what needs to happen with NBC for making what we believe is a is a, is a truly reckless uh, uh, mistake uh, yesterday, one that could have been avoided with a simple phone call. Is this the last we're going to hear about it? Is there no. any possible legal action? Well, I don't talk like that unless we really have to move in that direction. Is there anything else you want people to know? No, I think I'm good. Just. Uh, don't believe everything you see on TV, I guess. Unless it's coming straight from you. Unless it's coming straight from you, yeah, the guy's mouth. Okay. Great. Well, thank you so much, You're guys. You're welcome. <laughs>